Ole Miss had the Grove Bowl on Saturday. Uh, I have no idea what the actual attendance was for that. I would guess somewhere in the eight to 10,000 range. Um, beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. And most eyes were on the quarterback position because everybody wanted to know walking away from it, Luke Altmeyer or Jackson Dart. Um, if Ole Miss had a game this week, or next week, the answer is Luke Altmaier. They don't have a game this week or next week. They have a game on September 3rd. There's a lot of time between now and then. Final numbers for the two quarterbacks from the scrimmage. Altmaier was 9 of 22 for 182 yards. Didn't throw a touchdown, but he also wasn't picked off, and he had 77 yards rushing on five carries, a couple of touchdowns. Jackson Dart was 11 of 30 for 166 yards. He did throw two touchdowns. But he had two kind of bad interceptions and carried it for 66 yards on the ground as well. So the completion percentage, not great for uh, for either of those guys. They both had some moments. Texas A&M-esque. Yeah. Not as bad, but in the neighborhood, down the yeah. street. Yeah. Um, Dart played better in the second half. I think he had four completions at halftime, and they split it into two teams, and they, they played a game. Um, I'm a little surprised. I did not go back and look at the numbers until today, and it felt like Luke Altmaier was better than 9 of 22. I mean, the numbers are what they are. He was more willing, though, to check it down. Jackson Dart's looking to throw a home run ball. And he missed on several of them. I think the the asterisk you put on this, and I'm not trying to spin it or make it rosy or anything. I think the asterisk you put on it is they are so incomplete at wide receiver right now. You know, you you would like to think that if Jalen Knox and Jonathan Mingo are out there that those numbers are better than 9 of 22 and 11 of 30? There's no way to know, really. But you would assume that putting the best receivers you've got on the field would help the quarterback numbers as well. Um, Michael Triggs got a chance to be special. 6'3", 240, really good ball skills, physical, strong, fast, all of those things. He's got all of that. Somebody asked me, how much eligibility does he have left? I said, it doesn't matter. Two years. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. And 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 Lane Kiffin has traditionally done a good job with tight ends when he's had tight ends that he could go yeah. to. And, and he, I mean, he showed it. The athleticism jumped off the page. Uh, you're right, though, on the quarterback thing. I've been, I done been trying to tell people that there's a real competition here. I found something that Lane Kiffin said afterwards quite fascinating. He said that Jackson Dart's trying to win the job with every throw instead of trying to play quarterback. So he's trying to win the job. And because of that, he's making immature mistakes. And you got to remember, the kid just turned 19. I mean, you, you remember Matt Corral when he was a young quarterback in the things that he did on the field? Kid made mistakes all over the place. Sometimes you got to get that out of you. I do find it fascinating, though, because even Saturday, I think you could see Jackson Dart's talent ceiling is incredibly high, and I believe, to my untrained eye, higher than Luke Altmyers. I believe his ceiling is higher, and he could elevate the ceiling of the offense higher than Luke Altmyer could. But based on what I saw and what people that have seen it more frequently than me during the spring have said, the floor with Altmaier right now, if the season was today, is dramatically higher than that of Jackson Dart. And so when you know you're going to have sense. a high-level running game, because they're going to have one, and you know you're going to be pretty good defensively, why take risks when you don't need to? Why not go to the guy that has shown more? And again, long way to go, as you said. It's just a spring game. But right now, one looked more equipped 
to be a starter in the Southeastern Conference in the other. It's really the bottom line is can you protect the football? Protect and the if, football. If, if Jackson Dart does not protect the football, he's not going to be the starting quarterback. And no. if he does, then he will be. I, mean, it, I, I think it's that simple. And Altmaier's running ability. I mean, you saw the escape ability in the Sugar Bowl. That translated. He, he can be. Is he as athletic as Matt Corral? I don't think so. But can he keep defenses honest with his legs? You saw it. He's athletic enough to run and be an effective runner when given space. He can run his own read, if you will, and keep an end honest, those kind of things. He's athletic enough to do it. This is a fascinating battle now into the offseason, into the fall, because if this trend continues, the high-profile transfer recruit is going to be holding a clipboard on the sideline this fall. And he's locked in for four years because he's not going anywhere without – unless, you know – if you're Jackson Dart and you don't win this job, you're praying that Lane Kiffin gets another job. Because otherwise, you're going to be at Ole Miss for the next four years, not doing nothing. I don't know if it's that cut and dried. But, yes, based on what you saw in the spring game, I think today, again, Luke Altmeyer would be the guy. And I'll be the first to say that I was wrong. I, I was. I thought I thought Borky was full of it. Thought he was just thought he was just toting the Ole Miss company line. But he's right. He's right. All, Altmaier right now is going into the fall with the edge. And yeah. let me ask this then: Is that a massive disappointment for Dart if he doesn't just win this job, considering the hype around him when he came in? Well, sure, it's a massive disappointment for him if he doesn't win the starting job. But I would think I mean, it's I mean, not for, a disappointment for Ole Miss, for Ole Miss fans. fans. Oh no, I don't think so okay. at all. I it mean, if you got be a high-profile transfer and your your local from the state of Mississippi kid wins the job, and by the way, I, I don't have recruiting rankings in front of me. You guys know it better than I do. Weren't these guys? As high school seniors similarly rated, Luke Altmaier was a four-star quarterback coming out so, of Starkville. Altmaier was a four-star. Dart was higher. But... but Dart was like 100 spots higher in overall player ranking, which is skewed, of course. I mean, that, that doesn't tell the whole story, but yeah. I mean, Altmaier's not some bum. I, I mean, that's what got lost in the – when Ole Miss was pursuing a transfer quarterback, it didn't mean they didn't like what they had. It's they only had one. They, that they was the guys. issue. They needed a body in that room. So it doesn't mean he's a bomb or anything, but. Yeah, we'll. Uh...